Not only do these phones stay charged, they're gonna do is touch them in your live videos. So dumb. All right, let's go. Now, for some reason, for some reason, I'm way back here. So let's see if I can pull y'all up a little bit closer. And I wanna have that cage in the background. I'm sorry, I do. That cage in the background? There it is. Gotta have the cage in the background, dog. That's what we talking about. Holla. Got my wine. I'm ready. Y'all ready? Here we go. Not yet, though. Got the music together. What's wrong with the music, dog? Oh, I tell oh. you, man, it's just unbelievable. No, I gotta, I gotta put on the search thing. The thing about these Bluetooth joints is like, what? That's the thing about these Bluetooth joints. What? It was connected to something I don't want to be connected to. No. Yeah, can you connect to what I want you to connect to? Bluetooth is bugging, y'all. Well, my, my, my Mac is bugging. One or the other, I don't know what's going on. All right, let's turn it up. Yeah, obviously my uh, laptop does not want to get all the music. Well, I gotta have the music, y'all. I gotta have it. All right. All right, forget about the music. We can get it in. Are oh, y'all ready to get it in? Hold on, let me invite some more people. A lot of people don't like me no more because I said I was going to delete them from my friends list. Man, those people need to, like, relax. It's what it is, dog. If you're not talking about fragrances or whatever, I'm not going to get... Yo, if you're interested in the music, hey, what am I... What? What I got to say? I ain't got nothing to say. What? I'm like, I'm just going to be stupid. Nah. You know what I mean? If you want to talk about... Yo, I was at work yesterday, and I heard these sisters, all they was talking about was shopping. Like, I wouldn't eat anything out of a supermarket if you paid me to. And that's all they was talking about. Well, I'm going to jump into a conversation. The only thing I would have in that conversation is, I can't believe you buying stuff out of a supermarket. That's the only thing I would have this said. So I understand if nobody knows about fragrances or whatever, you might not want to even talk about it. So it's all good. So I'm going to invite some more people. Just a couple more people. And then we're going to go ahead and get started, all right? Got to invite Leso. Got to invite Narada. Oh, they just missed out. They just missed out. They missed out on the invite list. That's all right, though. All right, that's it. That's what we got. That's what we're going with, okay? So y'all can't... I'm upset can't hear this music, man. But I bet it's probably hooked up to this joint right here is what it is. You probably can't be hooked up to no more than one Bluetooth joint. Right? What's going on, Karen? Karen, don't start no trouble today. Don't start no trouble, Karen. All right? No trouble from you. All right, what are we going to listen to? We're going to listen to the obvious CD. So let's see if this works. Let's see what we got. Here we go. That's because we want to be connected to the iPad. All right, here we go. Because it's all about the juice. What? Yeah. Come on. Yeah. All right, we get anything ready? Get anything set up? Because y'all know when I do fragrance stuff, I ain't got no time for all that craziness. I ain't got no time for all them snippet shots. You know what I mean? And I was talking about, and then what I... And then all of a sudden, and, then, and I want this juice, but this juice smells good, but that juice smells good. That's some old crap, dog. You know why? Because I keep it real. This ain't no fake joint. This ain't no fake review. This ain't, I, re, I relate to the brothers in the hood. And out of the hood. I relate to the brothers at work. I relate to the brothers everywhere. All right? You made me upset around here. Karen, what did I tell you about starting trouble? 
can always tell trouble. She never come outside. She always told she wanna hook up, never come out. I'm tired. I don't feel like it. I'm doing something. I'm time for that. It's all about the juice. It's about these smell goods right now. Lee, I thought you was cooking, cuz. I thought you was over there cooking. And when you cook my vegetarian, I will appreciate it, brother. Let's drink. Check out my man Lee Roberts' page. Excellent chef. I didn't know he could cook the way he could cook. I didn't know he could cook. I can't cook. All I can cook is a vegan sausage and broccoli. Holla at your boy, my man Lee. Check out Lee. Check out his page. The brother be cooking up a storm. Only problem is if you can't cook, there's like being at a strip club. It's like watching Lee strip his food and you can't get none. <laughs> that's, why I, that's why I can't even watch it. I can't watch him cook. I get all hungry and can't get none. So if you're at a strip club, which I don't go to strip clubs, you go to strip club, it's like you see all the women, but you can't have them. So Lee, Lee be cooking that straight up, straight up y'all mean. Big Lee Kitchen's on YouTube as well, so get ready to check him out on YouTube. Big Lee's Kitchen on YouTube, all right? That's what we do. He does the Yami, and I do the Yami. Damon checking in with Cisco. There you go, baby. Damon checking in with Cisco. What's going on, MJ? Where you at? How's your boy? You can relax a little bit more, you I make a little money off your run, so it's all good. Holla! Are y'all ready to get busy with the sniffs? Are y'all ready? Yo. Really? What about flash just right here? What about flash that plastic? What's good? What's good, MC? What's good? Yo, I need that vegan joint, cuz. I just came from Plaza Azteca, man. A vegan, a vegan black bowl. I'm gonna put the picture up. It's a vegan, it like black beans. Vegan bowl. Fill me right up, cuz. Bowl right this big. Give me some freaking uh, saute onions on top of them. Ooh, I was killing it. Hey, what's up, MC? Cheers, Derek. All right, is the music too loud? Let me know. Is the music too loud? I'll turn it down. But sometimes the music be loud because I want to hear the music. Sometimes I don't care about the juice. But right now, I care about that juice. Let's go. So today, I take off work today. I said, look, let's make this day a lovely day. Any day is a lovely day. If you wake up, have your father looking after you. Every day is a lovely day. But since I took off, it's a more lovely day. All right? There was no raw. See, here go Karen starting trouble, y'all. Here go Karen starting trouble. Why am I gonna eat some raw black meat? I'll be passing gas right now. Let's get started. I'm gonna turn down the music a little bit. And we're listening to music from the um. We're listening to music from the obvious CD. We're listening to music from the obvious CD. All right, let's turn it down a little bit though so we can get started. Y'all ready to get started? Let's get started. I know Dame gonna share, I know Dame gonna share this video because that's what you do. All right, so I go out to King of Pressure. I'm like, I gotta go out there and get this juice. First stop, Nordstrom's. So, what had happened was, it was this juice that I wanted. I had smelled it in the Nordstrom's when I was over the Yamin. I'm not talking about food. We're talking about smell goods now, Karen. Then you go start in trouble. Then you go start in trouble. We're talking about smell goods now. No more food. Smell goods. Let's go. Smell goods. Concentrate. Concentrate, Karen. Yo, can y'all tell, will you tell her to concentrate? I tell y'all what, when Karen get out of line, y'all put her back in line. Cause she like, she starts, she always starting stuff, man. She always starting stuff. I bet I need another chart, I'll be right back.
I think I got everything set up now. I'm looking for my phone. I don't know where it is. I might be in here somewhere. Hopefully, I ain't leaving at the dog one. Yeah, I mean. What's that one, though? It might be in the car. I, I don't know. I give up. I just give up. It's somewhere though. Wherever it is. Here we go. See the ball? The ball don't even know where you put the stuff at. Is everybody good? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean my pressure's good, but nobody wants their pressure up. Especially if you got you start drinking some yamin. You know what I'm saying? Alright, well you be good. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Dave. Appreciate it. David got my back, yo. David got my back, my Yamin back. All right, here we go. Let's go. So I walked into Nordstrom first, and I smelled this juice at another Nordstrom. So I said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead on and, and break this off. And get it popping off. Okay? So let me open it up very carefully. Y'all know how we do. You know how we do them juices. You're right. Elizabeth and James Black. What? Let's go. This fragrance features violet. Vanilla and sandalwood. That's not a bad combination. Now, a little bit James, I don't want y'all to be swayed like I was almost dissuaded. Right? The music sound loud. Let me turn Dana, let me turn, let me turn Dana down. She a little loud. Alright, there we go. So um yeah, yeah, uh, Elizabeth and James is actually made from the Olsen twins. Who would that think? And now the Olsen twins are like 355 years old. They had some kids, and they named it after their kids, Elizabeth and James. That's the information I got. Now, I don't know. That could be fake news. I don't know. All I know is this juice smells really, really good. And it doesn't cost a lot. You can get Elizabeth and James, I'm not sure if it's exclusively at Nordstrom's. I'm trying to break the seal on the bottom because y'all know how I do. Alright? Got to hit me up and say something on the retail. That's right. But make sure you drive, you buy from some place that ain't been sitting for a hundred years. Now, a good thing about this, this is new juice. Okay? Black came out in somewhere around, I think, 14. So it can't be jacked up yet. Not unless it's sitting in a dark basement somewhere. With the not the proper, not the proper airage and coolage. So we're gonna pop it open, live with the James. Violet, sandalwood, and vanilla. And when I first I was actually picking up uh, I was actually picking up dark amber and ginger lily. I said, let me smell this. And I heard about it. I'm opening it, I'm opening it. And I smell the dark amber and ginger lily. But y'all know I was getting that. That was like the y'all mean how's your boy Joe Malone, how's your boy 100 bars. And that's what we got. 50 mil. Didn't need 100 mil because that's why I don't need 100 mil of anything. Y'all see back there? Only reason I need 100 mil of anything is because, well, they got to be super special and the price got to be super right. You see what I'm saying? But um, I had a Nordstrom card. They gave me $20 off. Actually, I got this for forty eight dollars. It's probably eighty five. I got it for forty eight dollars. That like gave me twenty dollars to play with. What? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Bottle of black, baby. Hmm. And what happens with this is, let's go ahead on it and do a yeah. I mean, when you first spray it, you think you're gonna smell vanilla, but you're not. It's not gonna be vanilla. It's not going to be vanilla at all. It's going to be like, you're going to smell like the sandalwood. I thought I was smelling vanilla this time. You're smelling the sandalwood. Okay. So here we go right here. My man, which come already picked it up. I think um, JT already picked it up. He, I told him about it. He wouldn't pick it up already. 
There it is. I'm gonna spray it. I can't put no, I'm so sprayed up with everything. I just, I can't put nothing else on my skin. Here we go. And the sandalwood, I'm telling you, you smell the sandalwood and the violet. You really don't even spray. You really don't even smell the vanilla. Not yet. There's just a, there's a hint of something sweet in the back. But it's the violet. And I remember the only thing that had a really good violin in it was a jig off. They had a really good violin in it. Other than that, man, it's doing. Y'all yeah, need more light. Sister Zoom Mill, give me more light. What's the problem? Get rid of them bags under my eyes. What? So, yes, retail on this is $85 for 1.5 mil. You can also buy the oil, which I don't suggest buying. Heard the oil ain't as good as the spray, the perfume. And the big one. It's 110. So I think it's 110 for the 100 mil, 85 for the 50 mil, because he's trying to actually get you to buy the 100 mil. Good juice, really good juice. Like I said, violet, vanilla. Well, no, like I said, remember, it, it doesn't matter who it's different on. It's about what are you wearing. If you got out the shower butt naked and went to work, then you wouldn't have no clothes on. You'll be butt naked, right? But then you put your panties on. Then you put on your bra and all that stuff. Man, we put on our drawers and put on a t-shirt. Now you got something else on, got you? But you need to put clothes on, so now you put on some jeans, whatever, bada bada boom, and you do your thing. Here's the issue. Every time you put something on, you're covering up something. That's why you don't put nothing on the juices. It's gonna smell just the way it smells right now. If you don't put any soap that's scented, if you don't put any uh, lotions on that's scented, if you just put on your natural body out the shower with a nice natural soap and then spray this, it's gonna be good to go. But you can't spray yourself up with 500 different things, have a scented soap, have a scented dog on lotion, and then you spray this on you, and you're gonna say, Roger, don't smell nothing like you said it's gonna smell. Uh, duh, you wasn't naked when you smelled it. Elizabeth and James, violet, sandalwood, and vanilla. And it is nice. Very nice. Longevity, four to six hours. Projection, two hours. Skin scent after that, chill. I'll be right back. I'm going to get me some more wine, right? To keep the bottle in here. Check Karen real quick. Y'all check Karen. Check her real quick. I'll be right back. Pistachios and a big bottle of Yamin Lindemans, baby. 600 awards. You see that? 600 awards. Lindemans Cabernet Sauvignon. Do I got 600 awards? Because I like it. Bars. All right, I'm back. Did y'all check Karen? Did y'all check Karen out real quick? Y'all got her? Thank you. Thank you, Dane. Thank you, Dane. So, first fragrance for the night. Oh, no, 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 come on now. You just know I'm single. You can't be talking about you don't wear panties and I'm single. I'm not trying to imagine you not wearing panties, okay? So let's go. How? All right. Elizabeth and James, Nirvana, black. You got to get it, okay? 1.5 mil, $85, 100 mil, 115. All right. That's gonna go look in the cage. It's gonna look really good in the cage somewhere in that drink. All right, so while I was in there, I said, can you spray me out some samples? She's like, what you want? I said, I want some samples. 
So she gave me, this is gonna be my gift. I'm trying to get a real big giveaway bag so I can take it to work and give it away. Gucci. I'm like, what I want with freaking Gucci? Get that out of here. Get that out of here, dog. We don't do design over here. This is niche fragrances. No, I'm just kidding. What I'm just saying. You can put it in your clothes, you'll be fine. Put it in your clothes. So she gave me Gucci something. And then she gave me a Nirvana Rose. This Nirvana Rose right here. I will keep this sample for myself. Okay? All right. Then we got a whole bunch of these. From a man's shop called per Perfumology. And that shop, my man Nir and Brian. And uh, yeah, yeah. I was in here today. Also, um, Shiraz and Sensation, and he's up in a King of Pressure Mall. He's at the top. Website is Sensation underscore KOP Mall. Check him out. Sensation. The phone number is 610 783 7777. Now, do you know what I liked about going up there? He didn't really, all he had was Creed up there. That was it. He didn't have any niche fragrances. It used to be the same shop that near my man Brian was at, but they moved out. So he got the shot. I told him, look, we started talking. He was like, bada bada bing, bada bada boom. How, I mean, I got so many, I got so many cars I sprayed on. Look at all this. I was just having a spray party. Spray party. I sprayed on so much stuff down in near shop. It was crazy. Put it on your clothes. If you want to put it on your clothes, Karen. Put it on your clothes, baby, okay? Now, back. Here we go. Took out these cards from a man shop, Perfumology and King of Pressure. It says, my name is Nir Guy. So if you're in the fragrance groups, check out his fragrance group called Philly. Philly, um. <laughs> Philly Fragrances on, on, on Facebook. And that's my man's store. And that's where we got the. That's where I got all these colored papers from. Because I was smelling that. I was, I was spraying stuff from Lubin. I got to finally smell Corrigan. I finally got a chance to smell Akkad. I'm trying to remember which ones was which. OG. Welcome, OG. Welcome, OG. Good to see you, my friend. And don't forget to get that OG juice. Don't forget to get OG's juice. The Las Vegas... The man that took over Las Vegas when it comes to fragrances. That took it over. So make sure y'all get some of that OG juice. Y'all know what it is. Check it out. I got to get my bottle very soon. Absolutely. So y'all check out OG Gabriel. He's out of Las Vegas, but he everywhere, really. I forgot what this one was. Oh, this is Macabre. This is Macabre. By Zoologist. I'm trying to remember what some of these were. Because we sprayed so many. We had to out the spray. Y'all know... When you go out, no doubt, no doubt. Check him out, OG Gabriel. Check him out, Las Vegas. He's in Las... He runs Las Vegas when it comes to fragrances. Get you anything you want out there, too. I got my Tuscan leather from OG. I still got it. 100 mil Tuscan leather from OG at a great price. All right? All right, so she gave me the Gucci sample. Then she gave me some other samples. All right? So we decided to move from Nordstrom's. I made a brief stop in Neiman's. Just to see what was going on. Y'all know, y'all saw me. If y'all looked at my video, y'all saw I came into Neiman's. In fact, y'all followed me mostly all the way around today. So I stopped in Neiman's. I kind of knew what I wanted, but I had to smell some more stuff. So I went in there. I smelled a la rose. I smelled that. Pluriel. I smelled that. What does that smell? Oud satin mood, oud velvet mood. Now, the way it's stepping in an oud velvet mood, cashmere, cashmere. Velvet, cashmere, and what's the other one? They're extracts now. Then we extract with those. So the other two, which is oud and satin oud, they're yeah, regular perfume strip. Okay. I really like Isla Rose. I put it on my arm right here. I walked around. 
it disappeared. It disappeared. Ha <laughs> ha, you funny. But one day, I'm gonna get out of Las Vegas. I got a little shorty to my, I never been, I never went to Las Vegas, I never went to Las Vegas. When we get out there, we looking, we looking up OG when we get out there. Where's OG at? Soon as somebody check Karen, she's talking about wine on the fragrance review. Check Karen. What's going on, Mary? How you doing, baby? I ain't talked to you in a while. We got a wrap. Things have changed a little bit. Anyway, yeah. Okay. We're going to talk about wine collecting another time, actually. Because I'm going to start to collect wine, too. But we'll talk about that later. Right now, fragrance review. So, after leaving out of Neiman's now, I went there, I checked out them three. Oh, and I checked out my man Ed. So here's my Neiman's crew. When I go to Neiman's, I got a crew. I ain't trying to look at some old big shot, but I got a crew. When I walk in, they're giving the brother some attention. That's what it is. So, Mary Beth, who's actually at a new counter now. Mary Beth is at the... This is Mary Best counter now. And I did smell this. This smells good. It's called Kalamantan. But we'll talk about this later, okay? I'm trying to give y'all the trip. I'm trying to get how the trip went, alright? So now let's go over to Nordstrom to get that juice. Well, Nordstrom got the juice. When I came out of Nordstrom and I had to walk. I went up to Sensations. And I told you about Sensation, Shiraz, and Sensations. Think about like Karaj, Shiraz, even though he doesn't have, even though he doesn't have, um, like a lot of niches, he got the old designer joints. He got like, he showed me like, he was like, I got this one right here, but I got the original formulation too. Like from back in the day joints. I said, man, that's your hook. Shiraz, that's your hook. Not that you're selling what you're selling now, but if you could pull out a Gucci, instead of the Gucci right now, if you could pull out the Gucci from four or five years back before they reformulated, that's your hook. Because a lot of people like their old formulation. I mean, right now it might be a little old, depending on how it was stored away. It still might be good. But if I bought an old Aramis, say, and then they got the new Aramis, like Aramis 900. I remember I had Aramis 900 way back in the day. Oh my goodness, way back. He got a bottle of the old Aramis 900. Not the new Aramis 900. He got a bottle of the old Aramis 900. And he had on the side, somebody wanted that. And I was like, yo, you know what? I gotta stop being so bougie talking about niche when if I can find an old batch, of something designer from back in the day before they reformulated, I, I wouldn't mind having that. Like Gucci. If you can find Gucci Poirot, almost had it. I had this, this young lady on crazy. She didn't know what, she didn't know what it was worth. She sold for $35. I could never catch up with her. And it was almost like a, a full bottle. It was only like, you know, 75 mil. But still, I'm like, I want that Gucci Poirot so bad. Gucci Poirot right now, no bottle gonna cost you about $200. I thought I was gonna get it. Didn't get it. You know what I'm saying? So, getting the old designer probably ain't that bad. I know, I know, man. Bad, I know I'm bad, Muji. Let's go ahead and pull a little bit more here. To all my peeps who signed in right now, listen to the fragrances. And for two of my people, I really can't see. Because even though it says live, I got seven people, six people, there'll be more people looking. I didn't know that. I didn't know it don't show you anybody who's looking all the time. So, it's all good. So we just refill that Lindemans. All right, so then, as we listen to Sensation, I said, well, I'm going down to your man's store, Nia's store. So check out Nia Guy, Philly Fragrances, he on Facebook. I said, let me go down to Nia's, and I got down there, and Brian was down there. I don't know why I went down there. Let's go. Brian, let's open up Brian bag. This is Brian, this is everything I bought from Brian tonight, so let's go, let's look it up. He said, Rod, make sure you show my card, man. Make sure you show. I said, I got you, cuz. I got you. 
I got you. If you put the car in the bag, Brian. Maybe I misplaced it. All right, this is how we got to do it. I don't have Brian's card, but we can make this easy. Brian is at Perfumology, which is in the King of Fresh Mall. Hold on. If I can find a receipt, this is good. This right here is, um, this is Akkad. Akkad by, uh, by Lubin. Akkad? No, that. No, it's something else. Here's Akkad right here. Akkad was an orange paper. No, that's not it. This is Akkad right here. This is Akkad by Lubin. Very good. Very good juice. This right here, I think, is Corrigan. I think it's Corrigan. Very milky, vanilla Corrigan. He almost got me to buy that. But y'all know, when you have a lot of juices, you don't have to buy 100 mil of anything. Why are you going to do that? Oh, well, here we go. Oh, he stapled it on the, what y'all you know I mean? Okay. So here's Nears and Brian's shop. Perfumology. Am I right? Here's the number. Can y'all see it? All right, then let me read it. King of Pressure Mall, perfumologyshop.com. Perfumologyshop.com. 610-337-0555. Give them a buzz. So I go down there. I'm sniffing around. I say, yo, what you doing with that? What you doing with that? When you get that in? You got that in? When you get that? Hit this whole bunch of stuff they got in. I was surprised they had that. But Nier and Brian trying to go straight niche. So I'm like, I look around. I think I ain't got that much money to spend, cuz. He gonna give me, you know, I just ain't had that much money to spend. I wanted Al Cod. A Cod. But I'm like, nah. How can I work this out that I get more bang for the buck with my juice from this young man? Bam! Yesterday's haze. Yeah, buddy. Because I always told Josh I'm going to buy more of his juice, right? And I had, man. And I felt bad because I got like five of his juices. If y'all look over there, you probably can see them. They right here. Right there. Those are imaginary authors. There's five in there. So I always said, yo, Josh, the, syn the syntologist. You know what I mean? I'm going to get another one of your juices, man. And I kept telling him to get them. And I finally got one, man. I got it from Perfumology. So I just want to let Josh know, Josh, Perfumology in King of Pressure Mall. I picked up your juice today, which is yesterday's haze. And those who know Josh Juice, Josh Juice is very special. What's going on, Rochelle? So let's take it out. It's in the, it's in the Yami right here. Let's turn around. He puts in a nice book binder. Look at that. It's like a book binder. I wish he had these book binders out when I bought those. It would be nice. But, um, all right. Open it up. The juice is right there. Yesterday's haze. I wasn't going to get this because I was going to get the other one. He actually gave me a sample of the other one. Fig, iris, cream, tonka, tree bark, walnut bitters, and orchard dust. Now, how you know, babe? Now, everybody know that Josh always has a mystery ingredient. And I think the mystery ingredient is going to be orchard dust in this, all right? This thing is crazy. Let's spray it. Y'all want to hear the notes again? The notes again are fig, Irish cream, tonka tree bark, um, walnut bitters, and orchard dust. Then the notes right there. He tells you what he puts in his fragrances. Unbelievable. Look at these bottles. The bottles are simplistic, but the label and all that stuff, you know, all the, not the, all that stuff, but all the detail, and then he ended up with the book binders. So you put the juice in the book binder when you're done if you want to. Not me, I gotta have mine sitting out in the cage. All right? Let's open it up and spray it, baby. Let's go. So far, we smelled Elizabeth and James. What's going on, Dave? We smelled Elizabeth and James black. Nirvana black. And that's off the chain. Again, the notes in Nirvana Black 
from Elizabeth and James, who's made by the Olsen sisters, is sandalwood, vanilla, and violet. That's it. Here we go. Woo! That sprayer is so crazy. Oh. No. Oh. No. Oh. To my man, Josh. You've done it again. Unbelievable. Fig, Irish cream, tonka, tree bark, walnut bitters. Thank you, OG. That's from the Obvious CD, which you can get online. You get the online CD, you get the Obvious CD. Just type in Roger Realty Cool, and you can download the Obvious CD. But thank you very much. I appreciate it. I like when people like my music in the background. Because then YouTube would be like, when I upload YouTube, be like, uh, sound like you're playing somebody else's music in the background. Oh, uh, yeah, dummy, is mine. Uh-huh. Here we go. So, before you buy... I mean, me and Josh cool, me and OG cool. Either one. Either one. You can do both. Most of y'all are rich anyway. You can really do both. But buy OG first, then buy Josh the next week. Very reasonably priced. So you can get it, you know what I'm saying? This is 95 for 50 mil. Remember, he used to sell, he used to, I mean, 60 mil. Remember, he used to sell 50 mil, something like that. Now he's selling 60 mil for 95, okay? So you gotta get that. Yes. I sold, let me tell you what I sold because of Mosaic. Mosaic. And I don't even have Mosaic. I got rid of my Gizhoff Neo. You hear what I'm saying? I got rid of Jidjoff Neo because Mosaic was so good. Because Mosaic, Mosaic was so good that I sold Jidjoff Neo. You understand what I'm saying? I got my Jidjoff Neo from a discount out of California. His mom was going out of business and I bought a lot of my, I bought a lot of my Jidjoff, which is up here. That cage right there. Yo. I got it for like two hundred dollars. I got the I got the Neo pipe for one hundred fifty dollars. So because I bought a lot from the guy, I got rid of I got rid of Jidjoff Neo because the you know I mean Mosaic was better to me. I mean the first the name of my first CD is actually Mosaics. What? Huh? Let's put this back. Yesterday Haze by Imaginary Authors, ninety five dollars. Check it out. Comes with a book binder. Fig, oh, it's so, it smells so good. Where is it at? It's, I gotta smell it again. Where is it? What? No, this this no bottle black. Don't fake the game, cuz. We don't lie over here. We don't lie and fake the game when we do our joints. We don't lie. We tell the truth, cuz we keep it real. No, that's not it either. See? I forgot what I sprayed it on. Ain't the Man. See, if you're looking at another fragrance reviewer, he'll be bleeping all this out. You know why? You figure it out. Roger keeps it real deep and cool. Ain't no edits in here. Ain't no stopping and going, stopping and going. Stop. Everybody doing that. It's so corny. It's so corny to see all these fragrance reviewers on, on YouTube doing this corny stop, go, stop, go stuff. Keep it going. I don't need to stop and read no notes. I don't need to stop and see what this is doing. I don't need to do nothing. All I need to do is tell y'all Buy this juice. What? Buy it. And buy it from my man, Perfumology, Nier and Brian, and King of Pressure Mall in a Perfumology kiosk on the first floor in the new building by Simon. Go over there and buy it. Tell them Rod sent you. Stop playing with my... Let's stop playing with my emotions, man. I don't like that. I don't like when people play with my emotions, man. All right? Yo, dog. Stop playing. All right, says so two juices down. All right, we gotta fix the Nirvana box. Get a chance. Imagine your authors will last you until like next week. Cause that's how Josh do his juice. It lasts forever. Lasts forever. I tell you, Nirvana Black is four to six hours, which is fine. Cause. Let me tell y'all the beauty about buying some short lasting fragrances. All right? 
What is Hayes similar to? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing I got. And I feel, I smell Fig Du Jour by Armani Preve today. You know what I mean? Jack, what my emotions? Stop talking about my emotions. Anyway, you just say, hey, smell like nothing, man. You got to get it. You got to get it. You got to get the juice. Oh, gee, I can't get on stage out there. I got to do the stage here in Philly. Bars. What? Huh? Don't forget about it. Huh? All right. So far, two bottles down. But what came in between them bottles? I told you all the scents I sniffed. I sniffed a lot of scents out of Perfumology. Again, Perfumology. King of Pressure Mall. Perfumology. Um. Oh, man, I hit the button. What am I doing? Okay. We're going to listen to the obvious again. Perfumology. King of Pressure Mall. And these ships. Do I have fallen into the sea? Let me go look. Y'all want to be interactive? I'll be interactive. I'm going to be interactive. I'm not going to be like all these people don't want to act like they, they don't want to talk. Blah, 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 and not letting you be involved. No. Toast, put your glass up. Hurry up. Put your glasses up. Put your glasses up. Uh. Put your glasses up to Las Vegas. OG. Put your glasses up to Dane. H.O. Cali, put your glasses up. Carmina in Philly, what you doing? Put your glasses up. Come on, y'all. Put your glasses up. D.T. Thomas, put your glasses up. T.P. Todd Porter, put your glasses up. Y'all know I make a song out of anything. I ain't got no business. I just make a song out of put your glasses up. Put your glasses down. What? Uh, but I can't see. Put your glasses back up. What? All right. Number one, Josh Juice. Douglas Fir. I ain't got to tell you no more. The number one Josh Juice in my collection, Bow. Cape Hardy. You got to have it. You got to have it. Douglas fir, pine resin, western hemlock, vanilla leaf, strawberry, old growth, and mountain fog. Soft lawn, which is tennis balls. Okay, you ain't got that much left. Tennis balls, Josh juice, soft lawn. Y'all ready? Linden blossom, laurel and ivy leaves, vetiver, oak moss, fresh tennis balls, and clay court. What's the mystery note? Clay court. Holla. Next. Of course, the rock star of the collection. Yes. Memoirs of a Trespasser. Y'all know what it is. Madagascar vanilla, quiet wood, myrrh, benzoin resin, ambre seeds, and oak barrels. Josh is a freaking genius. I'll have Josh make my juice. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, look. Pierre Negrin is a bad boy. Montal is a bad boy. Mason Francis Kirk John is a bad boy. Dominic Ropier are bad boys. Those are some bad boys. Even TT is a bad boy. You know, Nassimato, of course, Gardieri is a bad boy. But I'm going to tell you, real talk, if I had somebody to develop a scent for me, it would definitely be Josh. Holla! The Cobra and the Camary, one of the most beautiful leathers you're going to... Lemon leather. Oh, come on now. Lemon, tobacco flowers, orange root, leather, okay, hay fields, and asphalt. Come on now. You made me, you, you made me go get them. You made me go get them. You said what you got to Josh. You had soft lawns, and I had every, I showed you everything except soft lawn. But I do have, oh, you said falling to the sea. Bam, falling into the sea, baby. What? Holla at your boy. Oh, stop praying, Josh. Stop praying with me, Josh. Stop praying with my emotions, dog. Stop praying with my emotions, Josh. Come on, man. Lemon, bergamot, grapefruit, lychee, tropical flowers, and warm sand. Falling to say another Josh juice. Why y'all playing with my emotions? 
So go ahead on. Let's put him over here with his with his brothers. Yesterday Hayes now like to get six Josh juices. I need two more. They got that other one I was about to get. I was about to get it. I was like, yo, man, what else you have? He was like, well, you know, that shit, that's all we have. I'm like, man, but what's this other joint you got over here? I forgot the name of it, right? All the imaginary authors. That's correct. So he was like, yo, I got this other one over here. So I started, I started looking around, started smelling some more. So he had this one called uh, Every Storm. I think Every Storm and Serenade or something like that. So let me smell that. You know what I mean? I wanted to see what that was about. Every Storm of Serenade by Josh. Josh Juice. I want to make my own. I don't. I want Josh to make it. I told you. Why you be going against me, man? See, that's why. Who said that? Who said that? I need to know who said make my own juice. No, OG. I can't do it. You know what I'm saying? No, no. Triple OG. Now, OG can make his own juice. Because he got it like that. I can't make my own juice. I don't have a nose. OG got a nose. He's been dealing with fragrances since I was, you know, trying to get into fragrances. He know what it is. I don't know. I don't know. Somebody said that I should partner my music with my fragrance. All right, so he was like, yo, man. I said, well, every storm of the chair, I said, I don't have no more money, man. I can't spend no money. He was like, well, bam, just take that with you. Holla at your boy. Every storm of serenade. And this is a small Yami you can buy for $37. So it's a, it's a 14 mil. It's a 14 mil. Every storm of serenade. 14 mil right there, baby. So just in case you don't want to buy the big bottle, you can buy that right there. Buy that right there. How? What? You know what I mean? You can buy that right there. Perfumology. Perfumology, I gave y'all, hit me up on the inbox, whatever you need to know. Go to Philly Fragrances, go to Philly Fragrances, you can get this instead of buying a big bottle, 37 bucks. Now, really, you probably want to buy the big bottle. What wise got ring? I'm not sure what you're talking about. What wise got ring? What wise got ring are you talking about, OG? Which one? I don't know. Uh, what, what, I don't know what wise got ring you're talking about. I don't wear wise got rings. I don't know. <sighs> Karen starting again. Will somebody check Karen again so I can keep moving? What I need y'all to do is whenever Karen asks a question, like the one she just asked, can somebody check her? OG, Dame, uh, TJ, read Karen's last uh, fragrance. She said, what well, they had that for women. Can somebody, somebody check Karen? Karen, I told you stop acting, stop starting trouble. Check her. Check her. Check her. Yeah, this is a diamond studded. Yeah, I mean, how's your boy right there? Crust, crust diamond right there. And then we got the sapphire right here. We have to have some sapphire. Diamonds and sapphire. And a little bit of onyx in the ear. What? Bow, 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 bow. Yo, I know about Vegas, baby. Uh, uh. Left hook. Come on, dog. I know about Vegas. What? Vegas? Vegas? What? Mayweather? 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 Show the D. Show the D. Don't pray. Don't say Las Vegas. So I'm thinking Mayweather. Show the D. All right, now get back to it. Thank you, Davis. Thank you. Thank you, David. Talk to her. Somebody talk to her. Somebody talk to her because she's trying to start trouble again. All right. So that's everything I bought. For my man Brian and Nier tonight. We picked up that yesterday's haze. We already had another backup yesterday haze already. I forgot I had this. I'm not piping down. My man might need some Prozac in the rain. I don't care. Every day is Sierra Nate. I almost got everything Josh made thanks to Perfumology. Near and Brian, okay? All right, I gotta do it. You need to stop messing with them old guys. Stop messing with the old dudes. You gotta mess with old dudes who don't need Prozac, <laughs> which is me. Holla, here we go. Last shout out, Sensation. Come here, move on. Sensation, King of Pressure Mall, Shiraz, that's his name. 
Sensations underscore KOP mall.com. And again, perfumology. Near Guy and Brian. Near right there. Check them out. Alright? Alright, now moving on. So after I left out of there, it was like almost like five o'clock. I mean almost like five something. I said, let me get out of there. Let me get out of there. I, 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 because you always ask me, Karen, about that. Stop. Karen trying to ask, she never say nothing about if it being a man or woman. She always asks that. Don't fall for that. Don't fall for that. She always says that. Check out the other videos. She always said that. Is that man or woman? Is that man or woman? Is that man or woman? I kept telling her, there's no man or woman in the juices we wear, baby. It's whatever you like, whatever you wear. She know that. Don't let her play you. Karen can will play you if you ain't watching her. She's a beautiful woman, but she's a beautiful play around her. Okay, let's go. So now we get back to Neiman's. Now it's time to take care of some Neiman's business. Baccarat 540, y'all know I already got that. That's over in the cage. Oh, there's so much stuff, man. Oh, I gotta go back. I gotta go back. I gotta go back. I gotta go back. To perfumology again. Gotta go back. He gave me a sample of Kerrigan. Man, this is love, dog. This is love. When I go out, I like that love. I like that love. Kerrigan. Alright, he gave me that Kerrigan. Holla at your boy. Then he gave me this right here. You ever heard of this? I don't have no smell good. Yes, you do. Well, all you got to do is say, Karen, I got to say, Raj, can I come over your spot and look at the smell goods? So if you want to check out the smell goods, just come on over here. Why'd you stop playing, Karen? Stop, man. She making me upset, yo. Y'all, she Karen always trying to upset me, man. She had like females be looking, but she the only one that comment. Trying to start trouble, man. No, she not. I just keep with y'all. All right, here we go. Y'all know I'm emotional. Y'all know I'm emotional about fragrances. Sinter. DKMS. So they carrying these too. Uh, check out my pictures later on. Y'all see all the pictures I took, everything that everybody's carrying, okay? That's what you do. He also gave me a Yamin. You or someone you like. By Eta or Elab. What's it called? What we call this? Go Eldo. Eldo. I always get it wrong. Eldo. All right? Eldo. All right? I don't know what it smell like. We're going to smell it later on. Huh? What do you say? No. Smell it now? Fine, man. I'll smell it now. Y'all want me to smell it now? I'll just smell it now. Stop. Yo, man, stop telling me what to do. Okay, I'll do it. Eldo. I got a couple of Eldos. My Eldos are over here. With all the other stuff I bought from Perfumology. My Eldos. And my uh, tire bills all up in that cabinet right there. Along with NASA model and all the other ones, okay? Yo, you late. You late. Come on, Mike. You late, cuz. Eldo. Something or someone you like. Let's spray it. I know you're like, yo, why don't you spray that, dog? Why don't you spray? Why don't you spray that, dog? You know what I'm saying? So let's spray it. Yo, Mike, Mike, you're a little late, so you might have to start the video over later on, okay? Or check it out on YouTube. Someone or someone you like. What's it called? You or someone you like, if the name of this by Eldo. Let's go. Interesting. Interesting. Alright, it's definitely citrusy. It has some citrus in it. I smell guayac wood. I smell some Listerine and Clorox. 
Oh, you've been here, Mike? Okay, my bad. I thought you rolled out. See, that's why I can't tell because it keeps scrolling. Like, there's a lot of comments. So I, I scroll out that you probably left out. All right, cool. Just for you. My passion is growing. I hope you feel the same way, too. Excellent. Excellent. OG got it. How did OG know about... How did OG know about Eldo? That's why he the man. That's why OG is the man. That's why he can make his own fragrance called OG Gangster. How is it not OG Gangster? Not OG, a mobster. Well, not mobster. What you call him trying to cop? Duo got this mobster out. Trying to get off on... Trying to trying to copy on OG's success. From some mobster. How you gonna make something called mobster? You ain't even in Las Vegas. Who is Dua anyway? I ain't buying nothing by Dua. I wouldn't even buy nothing by Dua until I bought something from OG first anyway. I can do it to some mobster. Get out of here. Take that, take that imitation juice and hit the road. Man, thank you. Thank you. OG, I didn't even know. I, I was picking up Guayac with us. Mint. It is. Not bad. Would I buy a bottle? Uh, probably not, but it is different. Yeah, he is the man. All right. Next. How, how am I going to forget this? How do you go to perfumology and forget this one? How did I find out about perfume? What's going on, Nier? We talking about you, baby. Everybody say hello to Nier. I don't care whether they're trying or not. I'm not going to spend money on Duo when I can spend the same amount of money on, on imaginary authors. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing it. Wow, 850. I need to get there. That's more. That's more than E dot. All right. Shout out to Neil guy, y'all. Hey, I've been, I've been talking about Neil all night. Neil was my biggest visit. Been talking about Neil all night. Perfumology. Y'all know I was shouting him out, so y'all know what's up. All right. I'm telling you, I got stuff everywhere here. I got stuff all over the place. Near guy, perfumology. Got me? He's also Facebook, Philly Fragrances, all right? So check out my man Near and Brian, King of Petra Mall. So, while I was there, while I was still at perfumology, I'm like, yo, yo. Yo, you got that, uh, you got that macabre, you got that macabre in yet? Because I know they're waiting for macabre to come in by zoologists. What y'all know about zoologists? Bam, you know about zoologists right there. That's why you know about zoologists. What? Zoologists, baby. And the name of this is called macabre. Or Maccabee. Is it called? Macaw. Macaw. This bad boy? This bad boy? Yo. This bad boy? Yo. Actually, I got that on a piece of paper already. I'm going to spray it again to remind myself. Macaw. Let's go. Look at that spray. Animizer spray. Oh my goodness. It got the yesterday, actually it got the yesterday's haze type flow. You feel what I'm saying? It got the yesterday haze type flow. Yeah. Yes, Macau is nice. What's going on, Jay How? One room is only put. Who has one room of perfumes? But that's not one room, that's like a quarter of the room. Who is this checking in? Who is this? I know somebody popping in. Peach Brother, how are you? Has some Michael De Palmer that just came in. A Rancia, Cologne, or just mess with me. You want to know how? To eventually, Atelier Collection, Immortal Tribal Killing. All right, cool. My man, uh, Jamal Adin Takuma, who's one of the best bass players all over the world, but he's out of Philly, just chimed in. When the house your boy 100 bars, okay? Yeah, Macabre's nice. 
And that's why it took me a while to make this, because from what I understand, with this, they had to wait for some more materials. Like, they use raw materials. That's how, that's how Wong do it. That's how Wong do it. He ain't gonna be, be half-stepping. He using the Yamin. He using the Yamin, you know what I'm saying? So, bada bada bing. This smells good. This smells good. I'm telling you, it really almost reminds me of yesterday's haze. Almost. Yo. So let's go get the other collection. Let's grab this out. Y'all making me do an extra, extra long video, y'all. I don't feel like doing an extra, extra long video. You feel me? Oh. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I gotta do an extra long video because my man Nier is on board and I I, 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 I support Nier like that. Your battery low, that's all right. Charge it up real quick, bruh. Charge it up. Let's go. All right, so, as y'all know, I had a Macau. I got the Macau, right? We also have rhinoceros. Rhinoceros. Like leather. Is this a leather one? No, this is, no. Is this, no, 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 no. I think it is. No, 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 it is. You know, not bad. Bad's not the leather one. It's not civic. Okay. Rhinoceros is the leather. Got that. Where I get that from? Perfumology. King of Pressure Mall. Near God. Brian represent. Civet. Civet. Where I get that from? Perfumology. How's your boy? Unbelievable. This thing is crazy. You gotta have a nose for civet. Cause you gotta wait for the dry down. You gotta wait for the dry down civet. Next, panda. Panda's a little bit sweet. Panda's more for women if you ask me. It's more for a woman, but you still can smell the alamalic in it. Panda, again, perfumology. Macabre, y'all know we already talked about that. Look like everybody dropping off, y'all getting tired? That's okay. I'm gonna look at the video later. I'm uploaded from YouTube back down to Facebook. All right, Macau. And last but not least, my favorite of the line. I hyped up Bat. Look, I take credit when I hype stuff up. Bat, get it. Dirt. It smells like freaking dirt. When you spray it on, look at look how much I got left. It smells like dirt. But when it dries down, it smells a little bit like Vert Descends. And I really like Time for Vert Dia Sins, but this is a little bit darker than Vert Dia Sins. Bow, get you some bat. Don't be scared. When you first smell it, it'll smell like dirt. You know, like, oh, this smells like dirt. This is horrible. Why did Rod say buy this? Don't listen to me. But listen to me. Buy it. It's going to smell like dirt. Later on, it's going to smell beautiful. I had a female who smelled that right from the door. Right dirt from the door and said, yo. And she was an SA. She was an SA in, ne in Neiman's who sold fragrances. And she liked bat from the door. Now, I turned my other friend on. She was like, whatever you do, don't ever wear that around me. Don't ever wear that around me. Different strokes for different women. Let's finish out my main man, Nier. Yep, where did I buy this from? Perfumology. Nier. Fat electricians. Where did I buy fat electricians from? Yep. Near. Dangerous complexity. Where did I buy that from? Near. Perfumology. Amber Flash. Where did I buy that from? Near. Vanilla Flash, where did I buy that from? Yep. Putang the Palaces, this joint is crazy. Putang the Palaces mean palace whore. And it smells so good. 
Yes, sir. And it smells so good. Poo-tang. Y'all know what poo-tang is. You know what poo-tang is. He polishes. The polish war. Smells so good. So, yo, once, once I get into you, once I know who you is, I know you're doing good. You know what I mean? You look out for somebody, whatever. You know what I mean? You give me a little something here. You know, you pat my back, I pat yours. I mean, not because I want it to be that way, because that's, you just do that out of naturalness. You say, okay, well, cool. You know, I turn you into this. Don't worry about it. You know what I mean? Bada, bada, bing. That's how we should do. Scratch each other back. Scratchy, itchy, scratchy, scratchy, itchy, scratchy. You know what I'm saying? Everything good, JL. Everything good, baby. I just got to throw this one in because it's something I bought recently. Yeah. Yeah. Sturkis. Orto Parisi. Sturkis is no circus. Don't play around. Don't play the games. What's going on, Rob? We talking about fragrances, baby. Man, we're about an hour in, cuz you late. I started this around 8 o'clock. What's going on, AB? Yo, man, that was hot. That was hot. I saw, yo, everybody say hi to Alan. Say hi to my coworker, Rob Taylor. Yo, AB, that was cool you had my man come in the shop like that. Well, he came to the shop, you know he's gonna come. But you need to have a Montau bottle for him to sign, baby. Yo, AB had Montau, my main man, Montau coming to his shop today, Bars. I mean, coming to his own shop, but he came through. Sometimes you gotta be ready. You never know who's gonna show up where, you know what I'm saying? Alright. Alright, so I'm gonna get ready. I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta put this box back in here. This... Man, I can't stand, I can't stand messiness. And I got time looking at this box in over here. When it shouldn't even be in there. It should be right here. Oh man, are you, are you serious? Alright. Time out, time out. Time out. I need a time out, man. We've been going at this for an hour. Time out. Not right, cool. All right, let's rehash. Let's rehash what we bought today. Cause Rob just coming in, AB coming in, J Lo coming in. Let's rehash what we bought. Not where I went. Not the whole individual. What I bought today. First stop was Elizabeth and James Nirvana Black from Nordstrom's. That was the first stop. Second stop, oh, Perfumology. Yep, yesterday's haze. Macaw. That's the second stop. That was the second stop, all right? Last but not least stop is Neiman Marcus. So... I got a billion samples, y'all. I got a billion samples. There's so many samples on ridiculous. Ridiculous. Sit over there. Move over here. All these juices in the way, I want to knock them over. Josh juice. More Josh juice. I'm standing from a distance Kind of tripping, gotta make sure I ain't tripping Time out, time out while I put all these juices over here So tonight oh, By the way, this is the Elizabeth and James bottle 50 mil black, yes Violet, vanilla, and tonka or something like that. Violet vanilla and something in there, but no sandalwood. Violet vanilla and sandalwood. Yes. If you don't mind. Alright. I get this bag together, y'all. I got a lot of trash. So then. I'm sorry, almost done, almost done. Oh my oh I forgot about this. And the storm. More Josh juice. That was my stop at um at Perfumology. I got to smell the Corrigan. I got to smell the Adu Lobins. They have those in. So I gotta check them out. Gotta check them out. Perfumology. That's all I got to say. All right. You gotta pour a little bit more. Holla! Holla, 
your boy. Back up. All right, here we go. My rug in here is acting a fool. So last stop is why I'll just kiss. Put that over there. Let's try to get the samples together. So my last stop is gonna be Neiman's. So I tell you, my crew at Neiman's and King of Pressure is gonna be Mary Beth, Ellen, Lori, the Cree girls, and Ed. Ed was there because he ain't no chick. And y'all know I like the ladies. Armani Pre. Number love, man. Number love. Everybody want to go Perfuma. Everybody want to go to Perf Perfumana X. And all these places, they ain't going to give you this juice. You got to go to a store. So they give you this premium juice. Who going to give you all these free samples from Armani Pre? Who going to do that? Perfume X? Perfume X going to give you all those from Armani Pre. No. Come on, man. Stop playing. I'm trying to bring you all up, man. I'm trying to bring you up and do the right thing. What is this one right here? I'm trying to read it, y'all. All right, Giorgio Armani, Pivion, Sazuzi Zazi. I can't read it. It says something like that. Next we have... Armani Priv Rouge Manchalati. The last names I'm just making up. Next, Armani Priv Vert Malachalati. One is a red bottle, one is a green bottle. Okay. Next one, Iris Celadon. I like Iris Celadon. That is part of the Armani Priv line, the upper line, one with the black bottles or the brown bottles. Iris Celadon. Nice. And last but not least, and that's from my good friend Ellen and Neiman's. Lori. Mary Beth. Cree girls. They take care of me up there. That's what they do. Alright. Last but not least. All day loon. All day loon. You can hear that track from back there? That's amazing. I'm glad you like it. Thank you, thank you, my brother. Thank you so very much. So those are Armani pre samples I got, and we're gonna throw in uh, Eldo in there. We're gonna put them in my sample bag. I carry a sample bag to work every day with all my samples. Okay, all the samples. Again, we got that sample, and they give me time during the day, to, like check stuff out, Corrigan. You know what I mean? It's going in my five mil bottle because I got two of those. So, I think I don't know what I want. Do I want Oud, Satin Mood? Do I want Ala Rose? I don't know which one. Or do I want to go buy something for my man Ed in the Atelier section? And uh, he will give me a good deal. But I just don't need 200 ml of juice. What am I, unless I can get somebody, unless I can convince somebody who likes Atelier, like, yo, what's going on, Mac Rye? If I can convince somebody to buy Antillier off me on the decant, I will buy it. I just don't know why Antillier, he said Antillier make 100 mil juices. 200 mil is entirely too much. It's 200 mil for $200, that's a dollar mil. Even if I bought that, I can't even make no money off of it. Cause I mean, I'm gonna charge you $2 a mil. So I mean, now it's two, it's two, two, two five mil for 10, no, it's not worth it. So I'm trying to get him to understand that 200 mil bottles is just too much for somebody. If they, if they find a signature scent in Atelier, and this is my signature scent, I'm going to wear this every day for the rest of my life because 200 mil is going to last you the rest of your life, not unless you're just spraying all the time. You know what I mean? It's crazy. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know how Miss Pope do. Miss Pope and Mr. Pope, they do you know what I mean. That's how they do. That's good looking out. So what did I pick up today? I'm just gonna show y'all what samples I got 
a court by what I bought. So she was like, okay, I'm gonna give you this right here. A la Rose. Five mil a la Rose. Them my girls and Nemans, man. Them my girls, man. They be on a straight lookout. Straight lookout, yo. Because they know I'm always here buying. They know I'm going to be back. I'm going to be buying juice. So you, 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 I'm buying juice. Had to buy this joint right here. Why did I buy this? I already got enough of these. Yep. Baccarat 540. A la Rose and Baccarat 540. And what did I buy for the day? What did I buy for the day from Neiman's? And then we're done. We're not buying. That's it. We're done. What did I get? Ooh. Set mood. Yes, I did. So let's crack it open. Let's pop it off. And Damon know what I mean when I say pop it off. Let's pop it off. Open it up. Look at this bottle. Mason Francis Kirk John, this way you do. Okay. All right. Even even the travel sprays are hot. Even the travel spray bottles are hot. You gotta do 540, cuz. Yo, I was getting compliments. 540, really? 540, really? No compliments on 540? Impossible. Totally impossible. You don't get. I usually don't bust my plastic, but I'm busting today because I'm like dealing with plastic today. Three pack. Ooh, Satin Moo. Ooh, and Rose. But not just about that. It's not just about that. What's about is that you get three of these 11 mils, 33 mil. For $140. What? And you ain't going to even use all this. I'm not trying to talk down the bottle count. I'm not trying to say, well, don't get a bottle. Because a bottle of this is like two something. Two. You know what I mean? Two. I mean, you're only $70 away from the bottle. You only, you only, you only, you only, have, you only that far away. Because I don't care. I don't need a bottle. Three of these. There's no way I'm going to go through them. You know why? Because I'm not going to go through them. So how am I going to go through all these? I'm not. Three pack. $140. You can't beat it. I was going to get a la Rose. There was only $115. For three pack. Nah. Ala Rose is good. She's like, don't worry about it. I got you. I got you. You don't need to buy Ala Rose. And if you need some more Baccarat 540, I gave one away today. It was like a little bit left. I gave it away. But I have some more weight. There you go. So my name is Trip. Thanks to Ellen. Thanks to Lori. Mary Beth, the Creed Girls. Thank y'all all for looking out for me when I come to Neiman's. Thanks to Ed, of course. The Antillier. Thank you. Ed, I got you. I promise you, man. The next time I get down, because I got everything I pretty much want. Now let's come out with that, that, that cure. Um, they didn't get that yet. JT, you asked me, did I get my nose on the cure? What's called? I couldn't answer, because, you know, when I was early today, I was doing that dedication to my, to my friend. You know what I mean? So I try to keep it concentrated. I mean, you ain't know, you ain't know. I was paying the music for her, though. You know what I mean? But, yeah, I get my nose. They ain't had that, they ain't had that cure of my jewel. Or whatever that is. Bajaj Jewel, they ain't had that there. They say it's coming in, but they don't have it yet. So I assume it's good. I assume you got your nose on it, so it must be hot. But they had this double set of something called, um, one was called, Tag. It came in this double bubble. You get two bottles, $1,200. It was a uh, seduction or something like that and something else. Well, I ain't spent six hundred dollars a bottle on that. Do you know before I left, one of the, one of the sales soldier came over and grabbed that. Said my man just he wanted this. The guy just got finished buying 
for Armani Prees. He called back and said, give me those two, those limited edition Armani Prees. What is called nuance? What is called nuance and what is called something else? $1,200. This guy spent $3,000 on fragrances today. I don't know who he was. He must have been a baseball player, basketball player, I don't know, maybe he just collected. It was a collector item. That's probably why I got it, because it's a collector item. And he... So it must have because it's a collector item, he got it. But did we tell y'all what's collector that I can't wait to get? I know, right? Yeah, I know. Just spray one hit, though. Pow, pow. You good with the ooh, man. So put these back here. But let me tell y'all something right now. Let me tell y'all something. It was this joint by Joe Malone called Whiskey and Cedarwood or something. It's a limited edition. I got to check back on that. I was going to buy it online, but I'm going to let them get it for me. They had no more. The Whiskey and Yamin sold out. Joe Malone, sold out. So she was like, I said, well, all you have right now is the, the tester bottle. She was like, yeah, I said, well, I know you can't sell the tester bottle. I understand that. This is not Perfume X and whatever. They don't sell tester bottles in Eden. You got to send that bottle back to the vendor. Shantae Calais. Shante Kale. Kalamantan. K A L I M A N T A N. Kalamantan. Yes, I did, baby. I thought you said kiss me. I was gonna kiss you. What? Huh? This is not bad. She's a makeup designer. Or makeup juice. But that's the same thing when it came to what's called. I mean, Joe Malone was doing that too. And um, Milan and Guest. But Milan and Guest changing their game now. So Milan and Guest are now, they got another phrase. It's made, they changed the name of it. It's like something scientific or something like that. Oh, this is crazy. This smells sexual. This right here, Kalamantan by Mary Beth turned me on to this. This is sex. Oh my goodness. This is sex. This is sex. Warm, woody, sensual, rich, deeply exotic. Because I know I smell incense in this. I'm like, when I first smelled them, like, they want $185 a bottle for 100 mil. I didn't even heard of this person. I never even heard of them. $185 for, but I never heard of Mountain and Guest and paid a buck fifty for dark rum. So sometimes you don't know. But I mean, if I'm spending $150, I'm doing Lalabo. Mitchell Lalabo, like I said, Lalabo is in Nordstrom's now. It used to be in VA, and still in VA. They got a Lalabo and the Nordstrom and the King of Pressure Mall now. Crazy, right? Chantal Kali. I gotta get it. You know why I wouldn't really, really get the Because look at the bottle. The bottle's like all female bottle. It's the bottle. But look it up. I don't tell you the name of it. It's a perfume. Sensuality, charisma, and the great travelers of a Victorian age. That's what this says. Victorian age, holla at your boy, 100 bars, juice. Holla, 100. I'm going to keep it real. Because the only woman here is Karen. This is my coochie. 
This smells like sweet, sweet coochie. Honest to goodness, yo. It's like coochie. That's why she says sensual. This is like a pheromone from a from a from a vagina. Wow. Only problem with having a pheromone from a vagina smell on your skin as a dude is. You don't want to walk around smelling like a pheromone from a vagina. I'm just saying. I'm just saying real talk. You're not going to walk around smelling like a pheromone from a vagina. But I would like to have this on my girl. Or my wife. My wife, preferably. If I had my wife, I would buy this for her. I would buy this. I would buy... Yo, if you got a wife, buy that. Don't buy it for your girlfriend. Because she might wear it out and go to the club. And people going to be like, I smell sweet coochie. This smells like sweet coochie. Honest to goodness, you can smell the pheromone in this. You can smell it, yo. You can smell it. Like Lamau. You can smell the balls. Coochie. I'm trying to keep it. All I can do is, no, I haven't been drinking. And I've been drinking. I'm telling you the truth. This smells like a woman's coochie. And that's probably why she marketed this for women. Because a woman can walk down the street and have dudes like... What's that you win? Yeah, that's crazy. I'm telling you, that's crazy. This is crazy. I would buy this for my girl, man. It's $185, $200 almost with tax. I've never smelled anything like this ever in my life. I've never smelled anything that smelled like coochie. Poutang, the policies come close. Poutang, this, this mofo right here. This one right here. Poutang, the palace has come close because it's, it's Poutang. It's, it's called the palace whore. This comes close. This comes close because it smells like the musk. It smells like the musk of a vagina. Do y'all want me to keep it real? You'll be seeing that like I'm one of the motherfuckers of real. Oh, it smells like it's, it's great and it's beautiful and it's awesome and it's a masterpiece. If you want to hear that, go look at them. I keep it real because I'm from North Philly. I'm from the hood, dog. This smells like a woman coochie musky. She ain't quite got to the bathroom yet to wash it down. This smells like a freshly washed down coochie. Right out the shower. Right out the shower. That's what I can't do right. It's so sad, man. Sometimes I get sad. Now I'm getting emotional. I don't get sad because I regret trying to live the right life. I don't get sad because, I gotta say this again, I don't get sad because I'm trying to live my life righteously. I'm trying to do the best I can. But I like women. And to live a righteous life and be single and have women coming at you all the time and you coming at women. Like the other day I got accused by a friend of mine talking about I intend myself to too many women and all this stuff. I'm like, women be coming at me. What I'm supposed to do? Women coming at me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'd be trying to keep it real though. Like, yo, I want to stand back off you. I'm not trying to get involved with you like that. I'd be like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm good. But sometimes I, 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 can't, I can't. This single life, this macabre smells so good. Man, this smells good. I might like this more than bad. So, I don't want to cry like my baby on this because I, I don't want to have a pity party. You know, last time I cried about something on, 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 on the spiritual strength, I had a pastor tell me, oh, why are you, why are you having a pity party? I'm not sure, is this Nemus? No, it's Dorsham. This is my, uh, I know, but I'm just, I know I can't. I'm going to keep it moving, Karen. Man, get out of here with that. Get out of here. Y'all chicks, you want to tell me to keep it moving, but you going to come at me like, yo, how you doing, Raj? Whatever, whatever. What's my name? My name is such such. Oh, my name is Raj, whatever. And then we sit down. We have a couple. I can't even drink my wine no more. 
This just fell into the wine. But sometimes you gotta drink perfume wine. Oh, man. We don't wanna have no problems with perfume wine, so. No, I can't speak and keep moving. I mean, I like women too much to speak and keep moving. I'm sorry. I mean, I want to do the right thing. I want to live the righteous life. I want to do what I got to do to, like, to stay right. But I, I, I got a problem, man. I mean, I, can't, I don't know how many dudes that are single out there like me had the same problems I had. I mean, I mean I'm a public figure, you know what I mean? I, I'm in the music and all this stuff, and that's how... I, I meet a lot of women. I, you know, I do this YouTube thing. I meet a lot of women, man. Anyway. All right. All right, let's talk about two other things that I smelled today, y'all. I smelled, um... God, I got juice all over the place. I smelled, um, the new Aqua de Palma, Mira and Ebano. Abano, Abano and Mira. No, I don't. No, I don't. Not not close at all. No, it's not, it's not it's two different things. Because because the velvet rose. I think. Okay. To set mood, you gotta wait for the rose. To me, the roses are prominent. In the beginning, but when you smell velvet rose and ooh, you smell the rose right off the top. The rose is like, bam, how you doing? Hi, hey, what's your name? Huh? But the ood, I and I just got the ood. This is my first time really experiencing the ood. But from when I sprayed it, it looks as though what's gonna happen with that is um, I'm gonna have to wait for it. I'm gonna have to wait for it. So, and they got no problem. I ain't got when you say no no I would speak a very small conversation I would, I'm not doing that I'm not speaking a small conversation why would I speak a small conversation when I got a woman want to talk to me for the rest of the night you know, a woman out in the head over here coming to my studio just alone talking they want to come over and be in my studio which is not a problem they want to come and be in the studio I go out and make a song whatever we cool I don't do that many a time I mean, because they know I'm a musician. But, yeah, nah. Nah, I'm sorry, babe. That ain't going down. That ain't going down. I got to pour this out. But, I'm, again, to end this, not really to end it, but to talk about it a little bit more, because it's a long video. Um, No, I don't want to. What do you keep talking about? I can't. I don't want to. I don't want to. Do a crack addict want to stop smoking crack? Do an alcohol want to stop smoking, drinking alcohol? To somebody who likes food, who just, they 900 pounds, they still can't stop eating. Does a smoker who has cancer want to stop smoking? Oh man. I like women. And I'm happy I like women. I'm very happy I like women. I'm very happy that women are attracted to me too. So, yo, I ain't married yet. I want to be married, but... I'm just telling y'all, man, it's, it's tough, man. It's tough being seen while here in this life. So you're trying to do right by the heavenly, you know what I'm saying? I, I Man, I, I go through it. I go through it, man. You know, y'all know I got to get personal from time to time because I keep it real. I'm not like one of them happy, crusty dudes who be doing reviews. And as soon as the review is over, them Negro... <laughs> See, I'm starting to drink a little bit too much. Them cats got some old problems going on in their life. That's why they're making up so many videos because they don't want to talk to your girl, they don't want to talk to your wife, whatever. Nah, it ain't like that with me. I keep it real, yo. I like the women. I like the women coming at me. I like coming at the women. That's what I am. I'm a dude. Heavenly Father made me to be attracted to women. And that's what I'm into. Now, let's get back to where we at. So to end this video, because I can't find the other y'all means I'm looking for. There was some other stuff I was looking for. I can't find it. Oh, here we go. Wrapped up in the paper. Whatever can, whatever. I'm not, I'm not going to hear the debate with you. I know what I want. I know what I like. I like women. I want women to like me. Period. It's done. 
All right, now keep it pushing. This is my Neiman's. This is Joe Malone's. I can't wait to put this in the five mil. I got a five. I got a five mil bottle. Joe Malone's. What is it, yo? What is it, Joe Malone? What's the name of it, man? Anyway, it's a special scent, and that's what I want to get. But they ain't have it. They sold out already. It's not tobacco. Oh, whiskey, whiskey and cedarwood. Whiskey and cedarwood. You better get it, cause it's not gonna be around long. She said, check back with her tomorrow. She'll order it for me. Honestly, I'm, I'm just going to grab it at Bloomingdale's real quick because they probably have it. If they don't, I'll call back up Neiman's and have it ordered for me. Because I want my essays to order stuff for me. I don't want to, you know, I can get it online, but I don't want to do that. Whiskey and Cedarwood by Joe Malone. Y'all know I'm down with the Joe Malone. Can somebody talk to Karen? She's going out of base again. I told her what it is. I know I'm not alone. I'll never be alone. That's not what I'm talking about. It's 9.30. I'm looking for a woman. Bye, girl. In the meantime, before I go do that, I got to pour this out so I'm going to pour another glass. Bars. All right, this got to be the longest, the very longest, the longest, the longest Facebook Live ever done everywhere. There wasn't a, there wasn't a show. My belly was sticking out. I got to pull it back up. This is the longest Facebook Live that wasn't a TV show. You know how people be doing Facebook Live like they, they got a show? Well, they probably do have a show. They have a show. They got mics and everything like they're sitting in the studio and all that stuff. Well, we ain't sitting in no studio. I ain't got no freaking mics. But I know what I do have. I got them smell goods and them taste goods. I got that. Karen, inbox me your phone number. I'm coming over and see you right now. We're going to take that right now. Y'all heard that, right? Oh, y'all heard that? Karen, inbox me your phone number. I'm going to call you. I'm coming to see you. Because obviously, you want to talk stuff. You want to talk a whole bunch of stuff when you already said you got a man. All right, that's fine. So, I forgot what these are. Oh, they're the Antilliers. My man Ed and Neiman's. Antilliers. You know, I like, I like, I like, I like uh, tobacco and the wheat. I like, yeah, I like gold leather. Of course, I like silver iris. I like, um, I like the orange to green. I like the papa nettle, the palmetto. No, 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 no. Ain't no one funny. Ain't no one funny. Put your dog on phone number. Inbox me your phone number. I'll be over. I tell you what. Wow, this stood up. I flipped this all the way over there and it stood up. Look. It stood up. See on the computer? I flipped it over there and it stood up. Because you know what? Skills. I got them flip. I got them flip fragrance sample skills. Let's try it again. That might have stood up, but it came up behind the dog computer. What? So this is my bag of everything I bought today. I like to thank again. I like to thank Neiman's. My girls at Neiman's. I like to thank uh, Nia and Brian. Mainly Nia wasn't there. Nia took a trip. He had to roll out. So I like to thank Brian for taking care of me. At Profumology. Um, the young lady at Nordstrom, I never got a name. She had like she wanted shit like more than just selling and getting out of my way. Anyway. By the way, the Nemes and King of Pressure had one Mimo. How you had one Mimo? How you had one Mimo? They had four Roger Doves. The one in the one in Virginia got a thousand Roger Doves. They also had one Monegal. Raymond Monegal. They had one Raymond Monegal. Come on, come on, Nemus. Come on, man. The niche community want to hear what y'all got to do. I'm not, I want to buy stuff from you. I want to spend an extra $2,500 you gave me today and said, Mr. Holland, you down to $85, yo. That's all I got, dog. 
Here, take another twenty-five thousand. We're gonna raise your limit to five thousand dollars. Why? Why you wanna do that? And you see how responsible I was? All I bought was that little three pack of what's called. You gave me two thousand twenty-five hundred more dollars to spend. Cause I mean I spent twenty-three hundred already. You give me twenty-five hundred more dollars to spend. I'm not spending. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that. That's crazy. I'm gonna start paying down the other twenty-three so I have forty-five hundred dollars to spend and even when I want to. And I go in there and buy them Tom Ford boots. Them 1750 Tom Ford Pebble boots. What? Give my Mayanis. But Tom Ford got some Pebble boots at $1,750. As soon as I pay up that $2,000, I'm gonna go and get them drinks. I know, I know it's ridiculous. Who would have spent $1,750 on boots? You know who? All the people that was in there spending $1,500 on freaking Versace sneakers. Today. I'm like, they're like they were straight from the hood. Let me tell you something right now. If you from the hood and you buying $1,500 sneakers, you got a problem. You have what they call a problem. Okay? Now, if you got a drug dealer boyfriend, and you come in here, and you spend $1,500, I would say this. I would say, if I was a salesman at Neiman's, and he was like, uh, yo, I'm sorry, I'm gonna say, well, I don't care whether you white, black, Puerto Rican, whatever. If you come in here, and you're not dressed, and you're not a football player, you don't say, look, I'm, I'm Rodgers from the Eagles, I'm Rodgers from the Phillies, I'm Rodgers from the Sixers, I'm Rodgers from the Flyers, you know, 50 dollars sneaks, I'm calling the cops. Because nobody should be going by $1,500 secrets unless they got a million dollar contract. I'm keeping it real with you. $1,500 Versace sneakers? Really? I went in there. It was this female. They had a baby. I mean, they, had, they, were, they were dressed for the summer. They had both of them. The dude had on a t-shirt. His girl had on a t-shirt, or wife. And the daughter, they was, they was cool. But they were looking at $1,500 sneaks. That was an accident. Fifteen hundred dollars sneakers. Now, again, if you are a football player, a basketball player, a drug dealer, a financial wizard, a stockholder, these smell so good. But I got them. This is Satin Nude, and this is Ala Rose. This is my disposable bag of all my stuff that I'm not going to use. If you in there buying $1,500 sneaks, dog, because you finally got your credit card because your girl is working and she got a decent job, she might have a good job. She might be a freaking nurse. She might be a doctor. What you want, baby? What's up, baby? I want to go and get them $1,500 Versace sneakers. And I want to get them, them studded joints. She's like, but you're unemployed. But come on, baby, you're a doctor. You know you can get those from your nurse, your RN. Why can't you buy them for me? Mm-hmm. Why? Because he has a sexual tool she don't want him to go nowhere. Or have her own business. Right, she can be an entrepreneur. Definitely an entrepreneur. You know what? I was, I was with an entrepreneur. She got a hair business. She got her own shop and everything. She making much money. Sent all three of her kids to college. They all excelling. Great. I could have stayed with her. I, I, I would 
She would have bought all that for me right there. I wouldn't have to buy nothing. I'm like, baby, uh, just buy me all my cage right now. She was like, that's what you want? That's what you really want, Raj? Yep. She would have bought it. My ex, who I lived in East Oak Lane with, same thing. But she helped me with my studio and all that stuff. My studio equipment, stuff like that. But if I said, babe, I want to buy this, she was like, that's ridiculous. But is that what you want, babe? I'm like, yeah. But I've been working for SEPTA for almost 30 years. I got a job. Y'all chicks need to stop doing that. You just start taking these bum dudes, going out there and buying them. Okay, a non-profit organization. Stop taking these bum dudes who don't have a job, who freaking don't have a job, who don't have any future, who don't have everything going for themselves. Take them out there, buying them some, some freaking $1,500 shoes because... You like the tool. That's ridiculous. That's just ridiculous. And I'm... Look. <clears throat> I'm not going to say I'm not guilty of it. I'm not going to say I'm not guilty of it. I had somebody make a major sacrifice for me. Major. I mean, thousands of dollars. <coughs> and I did her so wrong. I mean, I tried to make it up to her. I tried to make it right, but... This didn't work. But <clears throat> I got a job. I work my behind off. I work. You have boy toys. Get out of here. I worked four pieces of overtime last week. That's why I bought what I got. Because I worked four pieces of overtime. Two pieces, real talk, is a stat. Two pieces of overtime for me is a stat. <coughs> So my other two pieces is you pay off some more bills, <coughs> knock down some loan debt, and buy yourself something. Take $150 and buy yourself something. You worked hard for it. So just one of my overtime days is what I spent today. I still got three overtime days. So that means if I get a stack from two overtime days, and I work four overtime days. Almost, almost, I'm almost getting two stacks. And people wonder why I work all the time because I like nice things. I like, I like freaking LV belts. You know, I like, I like little stuff. I like fragrances. I like that, man. You know, the father let me have that. Whenever he feels though he don't want me to have it no more because I'm irresponsible, I'm not taking care of my situation, I'll be put in a position where I got to get rid of it. So I want you guys to know, and I always tell my friend, man, he's a married guy. I'm like, look, man, you're a married guy. And I understand that sometimes you go through things in a marriage, because I've been married, that, you know, you get pissed. And you may want to do some things you ain't got no business doing. Well, I'm going to say to you, stop being a punk. Handle your wife. And do your thing to keep your life right. That's it. Because the reality of it is that being single is not a bad thing if you're not trying to live a life. But if you're just out there putting yourself out there like I used to be and that I'm kind of doing from time to time now, real talk, even though I talk to y'all about the Heavenly Father and Yeshua and the Holy Spirit, even though I tell y'all about that, sometimes I disrespect because I would like to have a wife. I would like to have a girlfriend. I like to have somebody in my bed I'm, I'm laying with every night, particularly a wife, not necessarily a girlfriend, but if somebody I know I'm going to get married to, then it's fine. I mean, not really, but it's kind of fine. But you know, there's some women don't care about that. There's women don't care about whether they all that did. And they go to church every they go to church every Sunday. Every Sunday. And the first thing they say is, I'm getting me some dingling this weekend. I'll be like, alright. So I mess around. I know we all human, yo, but we all human mean, do you smoke a cigarette? No, why? Because you sound smoke cigarettes. The same thing. You're human. Do you have to have sex? Yeah, more than likely your nature wants you to have sex. But come on now. Heavy wants you to do it with somebody who you married to. Period. 
So regardless of whether you're human or not, there's some things you got to say no to. I'm not, I don't say no all the time. I should say no all the time, but I don't. That's what I do. So we went from fragrances. We're going on two hours. I'm going to give you all I got, man, because I always give you all, all I got, man. I give everybody all I got. We talk about fragrance. We talk about life. We talk about anything you want. We talk about vegan. All that. So whatever you want to talk about, I'm with you. But come on, man. Let's keep it real. I got to go. It's just hard to have women want to be at you and want to have sex with you and want to be with you because they, they think that if they have sex with you, just maybe, just maybe they can get closer to you or something like that. And you be like, nah, I just want to have sex because I, I want to have sex because I'm built to have sex. I don't have any kids, whatever. Bada bing. Man, look. So I'm trying to talk to all you guys, man. Don't deny don't deny what you're going through, man, because you won't be keeping it real. If you can't keep it real, we can't talk. If you don't keep it real with me, like I'm keeping it real with you when I give you all my personal business, if you can't do that, because I'm going to post this to Facebook, the whole world will see it. Or whoever want to look at my Facebook page or whatever, or my YouTube page, they're going to see this. If you can't be mad enough to express your feelings enough to know that you can tell people no, bada bing, bada boom, then you ain't a real dude. If you ain't a real dude, you can't talk to me. We ain't got no rap. Because I'm ride or die North Philly to the freaking end, dog. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to die. It's very difficult. It's very difficult. But it's not difficult because you got to check. Once again, the analogy is not this simple, but it's really more life-saving. And it's after life-saving. Which is saying this. If you... Okay, that's fine. I know. And that's good. I mean, we talked about you wanting a boy toy. I got that. If you want me to be your boy toy... I can be your boy toy, but I'm not. <laughs> but I'm saying, boy, I understand that. I got I got a couple little toys. I got a couple toys. Right now, I can say, I got three toys I can call right now that I spend the night. I can. But I won't. Unless I keep drinking this wine, then something will happen. You know... I was looking at, uh, what's going on, Northside, baby? What's going on, Mark? What's going on, baby? MS in the house. Marv in the house. How at your boy? What bars? So it's like, uh, it's like this, yo. Shorty be like, yo, I want to come over. And I just want to come over. And I don't want to sleep in my bed tonight. Because I've done it before, too. In fact, I did the other night. And when I got, I went and I stopped by and saw a friend. I'm like, no, I'm going to get home. I'm all, like, kind of tied up a little bit. I'll just stay over your crib for the night. No big deal. You stay in the crib. You don't have to have sex. You don't do anything. Just take it behind the bed, get up in the morning, leave out. It's good money. But when you cross the line, now it's something different. Because women don't want to just be known as booty calls. But... They know, and since they are booty calls, or if they got control at Karen, then they control the call. They call you. Come over, yo. I'm trying to see you tonight. You know what you got to do? Me? Yo, what's up, shorty? What you doing tonight? I ain't seen you in a minute. What's up? You know what time it is, right? Yeah, and you might just, yeah, you know I mean, you know what I'm saying? But I be trying not to. But I'm telling you, like, I was just to, I was just to my man, his name is Ted Nottingham. And he was like, the problem with anger and, and low self esteem problem, <laughs> you funny, is not the fact that you have low self esteem because you're fearful. You have a fear problem. When people try to put this stuff up using pride, like, yeah, I'm the man. Ba 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 ba. That's why so many actors become actors. Most of your actors are below six foot. No seriously, most of your actors are like five, 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 six. On screen, they look big because they make them look big. They had down shots, so they have a woman. They have them go down shots. Like Al Pacino had down shots when he was with women, so he didn't look that short. Al Pacino is a shorty. They got low self esteem problems. They get through life, everybody can call them short. What's the first thing you do? Buy a big ass truck. Did I say that? Huh? 
I'm not trying to fit my brother super low six feet. I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying, just in counter perspective, if you wasn't blessed with, if you wasn't, not blessed, I'm not, I'm not going to use that word, that's a holy word. If you wasn't, if you're not tall, if you're not tall, you're just not tall. That's what it is. I'm six foot. I'm not tall next to somebody who's six foot. You five, 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 six. I'm looking down at you. But that don't mean anything. But a lot of guys try to compensate by doing things they got no business doing. If you buy a big ass truck like Kevin Hart, Kevin Hart from North Philly, 19th and Erie, five, five. What are you doing now? He's an actor. He's a comedian. Because he has to deal with being five, five. What you do? Find something that's going to make you have more stature. Because the more stature you have, he's still five, five. But then you can look at Muggsy Bogues. In, 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 in the NBA, you can look at my man, <clears throat> Sam Dunk Contest winner. I saw him another day. He 50 years old, still dunking. Spud Webb. Spud Webb was 5'4". Dunking. Won a Sam Dunk Contest. They showed him on, look at look it up on YouTube. Like the guys who still dunk. Basketball players from the past who still dunk over 50 or something like that. Spud Webb dunked with ease at 50 years old. He was like, he double pumped. He wasn't like... Bow, bow. Dr. J is 6'5". Dr. J barely got above the rim and dunk, but Dr. J is 60 years old. What I'm saying is, just because you got a big truck don't, don't make you taller. Just because you can dunk don't make you taller. But if you doing what you got to do, do you feel tall and stand within yourself, your tall don't mean nothing. So, that's like Kevin Hart won't go find a woman that's 5'5", five, 5'4", five, five, for him. He could have. Kevin Hart can have any woman he want. Dude from North Philly. That's how we do. But his woman's like, like this. He ain't embarrassed about it. You know why? It's like, why you don't have to watch a BMW? No matter what size woman he got next to him, he's still Kevin Hart. I got to go. End of my conversation. Hope y'all enjoyed all that. Hope y'all enjoyed the music. Hope y'all enjoyed the fragrance talk. Hope y'all enjoyed about the personal talk. I'm with y'all. Y'all my peeps, man. Share my video. Share my video. Share with other people who need to keep it real. You know, a lot of people are hurting out there. They, they, they're hurting really bad. I hurt sometimes. They hurt. They use Facebook to get over the hurt. They think Facebook, all this present on Facebook, Facebook Live, will get to past the point that they're, they're going to forget their hurts. But just like drinking alcohol, when you wake up in the morning, Negro, you still hurting. I'm out. How's your boy? And Negro means everybody. Everybody. White, black, Puerto Rican, Mexican, uh, uh, whatever. Negro is everybody. Negro is everybody. Because we all got black in this because everybody came from Africa. Holla at your boy, 100. Get off my diamonds and my gold, man. Stop tuning my diamonds and my gold, man. That's political right there. I'm out. That'll be well. Have a great night. Africa got the diamonds and the gold, and Russia.